Now that Hillary has set up her site using the Shoreline Site Characterization form, it's time to start the survey. Hillary and Michael fill out the survey cover sheet to document the conditions of the day. Now, Hillary determines which portions of the site she'll be surveying today. Here's the start of the site, and here's the end, 100 meters down. It would take a lot of work to sample the whole site, so we ask participants to survey four random sections, which we call transects. This approach also has advantages for analyzing the data. A transect is five meters long, parallel to the water, and runs all the way from the back barrier to the water's edge. The goal is to identify four random transects of the possible 20 on the site, so there's no bias in which transects are surveyed. Being random is not easy. Hillary used a spreadsheet to determine random numbers that correspond to random transects and came to the beach with her numbers. Noah can provide a lifetime supply of random numbers for you upon request. She notes the four numbers on her four transect survey forms. These random numbers tell Hillary where to start. She begins at the lowest number, which is closest to the start of her site. That number is 30, so she and Michael walk 30 meters from the start of the site. They'll be surveying from here to 5 meters away at the 35 meter mark. Hillary and Michael plant flags using the rope to measure out 5 meters. Next, they plant flags in the bottom corners of the survey site above the reach of the surf using the rope. They make their way toward the back barrier, aiming for an approximately straight line. As they go, they plant flags, still using the rope to maintain five meters. Hillary uses the surveyor's wheel to measure the distance from the water to the back barrier at the same time. Once they're done, they see a nice boundary of the transect. Hillary and Michael complete the front side of the transect survey form, recording the start time of their transect search. Before she heads back down the transect, Hillary will document the area of vegetation that forms the back barrier of this transect. She's not going to walk into the back barrier to avoid harming the plants, but she will document any debris from the edge to two meters into the vegetation and count and categorize it on the back barrier portion of the transect survey form. Now, Hillary and Michael start at the back of the site, closer to land, with Hillary on one edge of the transect and Michael on the other, both looking inward. Then, they walk from the back edge toward the water, scanning for debris. Since there's two of them, they each only need to scan half of the transect. If either of them spots some debris, they collect it in their bucket. While having two people walk the transect certainly speeds things along, you can also survey on your own. Just walk down along one edge of the transect, around the bottom at the water's edge, then back up toward land. One or two people are enough for covering a single transect, any more could skew the data. Once finished, they take note of the time. And that's one of the transects. They have three more to go. Next up, we'll take a look at how we record debris.